you curse, right? You are disobedient. It's sin. We can't say we believe in the most high, but yet do evil things, right? That's serious. You don't have faith in anything that Christ did. You sin with what his word says to be perfect. How we walk and imitate that. To be perfect as the Father in heaven is perfect. What's, What's up, up everyone? everyone? Welcome, Welcome back, back to another, another video. video. And today we're going to talk about what is sin according to what the Bible says. The word of Yah, the word of the most high. We're just going to jump right into it. We're going to break it down to what the word says all right so we're gonna first start off with what christ jesus christ says the foundation our foundation yahusha mm -hmm. christ in mark chapter 7 verse 20 to 23 so it says and he said that which cometh out of the man that defiled the man all right so these are just gonna be the things that comes out of the man That's right, right. Mm -hmm. for from within out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts right that's number one Adulteries, that's number two. Fornications, murderers, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, right? Blasphemy, pride, yeah. foolishness. All, all these things, all of these evil things defiles the man. That's what makes the man unclean. Mm -hmm. What are what you speak with their actions? So theft, that, of course, that's stealing stuff. Like all these evil things, all these wickedness mm -hmm. is sin. That's this right. goes against of what the most I says this is this this goes against it this is sin all this stuff all this stuff uh, adulteries fornications murderers thefts covetousness wickedness all this is wicked all this is evil all this stuff the most High is not approved of he, he's against this stuff he hates these things right he's not pleased with these things so that that that's what that's what marks 7 verse 20 to 23 says that's what makes you unclean that's what makes you unholy that's what makes you unrighteous but as, us as people of christ we gotta walk in holiness we gotta walk in righteousness we can't be walking in wickedness we can't say we're christian right we can't say we believe in the most side but yet you're, you're in behind the scenes or you think you steal you curse right you are disobedient you do wicked things you do evil things right you are adulterous right mm -hmm. you forn fornication right those things are against of what the father says all right so that's that's pretty that's pretty much what mark 7 talks about the things that comes out of you and that's the thing that defiles you your actions mm -hmm. are you are you walking in sin or are you walking in righteousness i know i know that all these things right pride it's like one of the worst ones that's an ugly word and that's an ugly thing and ain't leading you into the kingdom right so all these things is not pleasing to the most high we as followers of christ are not supposed to be doing these things right as you're supposed to be doing the opposite of these things all right okay so matthew chapter 5 verse 48 says this is jesus speaking right here too right be ye therefore perfect even as your father which is in heaven is perfect so what does that mean Whew. that means that you need to follow what his word says right. you need to align yourself with what his word says to be perfect that's right you can't be perfect on your own because if you try to be perfect on your own you can't because there's nothing good at both in the flesh. Right. So you exactly. need to be obedient to his commandments. You need to obey what his son said. You need to be followers of his son. That's right. See how he walks and imitate that. Exactly. Following his example. Mm -hmm. And then living it out in your life. Without him, you can't be holy. Right. Without him, you can't be righteous. It's by seeing the way he lives. You can be holy. You can be set apart. Exactly. You can be unspotted from the world. Mm -hmm. You can be righteous. You can be perfect. Because a lot of people say that you exactly. can't be perfect, but it says right here, clearly, his son said to be perfect as the Father in heaven is perfect. Exactly. All right. There's many, many, many of Christians say mm. we can't be perfect. And they made that as an excuse. Oh, exactly. We, we can't be perfect. Oh, we, we just got to do the best we can. No, we can, it says in the word of exactly. God that we could be perfect just as he is perfect. Walking righteous, walking in truth, walking in the Holy Spirit. You can't be perfect. You can exactly. leave sin behind. You can forsake sin and walk perfectly before the Most High's eyes. Right? You can do those things. It says in the word. So what it says in the word, we do. We gotta strive to do. We gotta, we gotta observe it, we gotta do it, we gotta apply it to ourselves at the best as we can. What we see, we do, all right? We, we could be perfect. It says it. Just as the exactly. Father in heaven is perfect. We could be perfect too. Yes, it's perfectness. Mm -hmm. Top all of a per, all above all perfectness. But we do our best to walk perfectly for him. Now let's go to three main things concerning sin, right? Let's let's top it off with what do you want to top it. Let's top it off with First John. First John chapter three, yeah. four. Let's 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 start so off with that. These, these these yeah mm -hmm. these these don't play. First John, my brother John. First John chapter three verse four says, "Whosoever committeth sin, mm -hmm. transgresseth also the law." Mm -hmm. So 
Sin is transgression against the law. Exactly. So that's how you. That's one of the sins according to what the Bible says. Right. It's going against what the law says. Mm -hmm. Because Christ came to fulfill what the law says. Exactly. That's right. It says, for sin is the transgression of the law. Right. So simple as that. It's plain and simple. It's right there. Mm -hmm. Going against the law. Transgression against the law. Sin transgression the law. of the law. Exactly. That's sin. Disobeying the Most High's law. Disobeying the first and second greatest commandments. Mm -hmm. the, the All the Ten Commandments. And it branches, it branches out from there. From the 613 commandments. All those things we got to, what we see, we got to obey it, right? Exactly. And actually knowing better and doing better, I'm actually, I'm going to go to that right now. That's actually, there's actually scripture on that as well. Exactly. James 4, 17. Yeah, James 4, 17. So I'm going to go to James 4, 17. That's, it talks about knowing better and doing better, right? Exactly. What you see in the word, you got to apply it to yourself. So let's go to that right now. Give me a second. Give me a moment. Stuff is serious. James 4, 17. It says, therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, to him that knoweth to do good, and do if it not, to him, it is sin. Plain and simple. If you know something good to do, mm -hmm. and you don't do it, you you just sin. Exactly. For example, if you know you're supposed to take care of something that your parents told you to do, or if you know you're not supposed to do something, and you do it anyways. Yeah, you do it anyways. Like if you if you know you're supposed to do something good, right? If you know you have some type of chore or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying. And if you don't do it, you just sin. You just. Mm -hmm. Transgressing against the law, you just disobeyed what your parents said, and most of all, you disobeyed what the Most High exactly. said, what the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob said. So, plain and simple, therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, does it not to him it is a sin. So, knowing better and doing better. That's what, that also applies with what you're reading in the Word. Whatever you see, whatever, like if it says homosexuality, if that's it says those who do those things will not inherit the kingdom of God. If you were to go ahead, okay, man, it's, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to pay attention to that. And you still over here walking in homosexuality, right? You're still doing, you're still walking in that effeminate, whatever it is. It's a sin. Yeah, you're sinning against the most high. Because you already, you already know the the word of God just witnessed unto you, just testified unto you. So you can't go ahead, oh, oh I didn't know. Exactly, you can't you make know. any excuse. You already know now. You know, you know better, you gotta do better. You know better, you do better. Plain and simple. It says it right there. And going on to a third one. Romans chapter 14, verse 23. Yeah, let's get it. And he that doubteth mm -hmm. is damned if he eat, mm -hmm. because he eateth not of faith. Mm -hmm. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Mm -hmm. So if you do not, if you do anything without believing in the Father, right. without believing in his word, mm -hmm. without believing in the things that his word says, right. you sin, because you're doing it without faith. And faith and works is not a sin. That's how it's supposed to be. Faith without works is dead, as the word says. Yep. They're com they're perfect. They're complete together. Right. You can't have faith and then not have works. Exactly. You can't have works and not have faith. You need to have both. Combined together. That's order. That's Beautiful. the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So you do something without faith, as it says right here, it's a sin. Yep. If you lack faith. Exactly. If you have if you don't have faith in anything that Christ did, mm -hmm. you sin. Mm -hmm. If you don't have faith in his commandments and doing what his word says and believing in the stories and the different things that his word says, mm -hmm. it's a, you sin. Walking in sin. It's as simple as that. It's yeah. like you're supposed to eat out of it as it says because he eateth not of faith. Yep. It's, this, this word, it's like, it's like spiritual food. Like exactly. Physical food, of course, we need physical food, right? But this spiritual food right here, <laughs> this is what we need. This is this is more, far more important. Like it says in Luke four four, Matthew four four. Man, sh it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of Yah, the uh, mouth of God. And you can only do all these things through Christ being in you, right? Through His Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. you can obey all these things. That's right. You can be perfect as the Father is perfect yes, sir. in heaven. That's right. So follow Christ, obey everything that He says in His Word. That's right. And you'll be all right. Shalom. Shalom.